Ah, okay. Yes, yes. Ah, yes. From planning to complain ilmu Sharifah Rokia soliciting a research niche for YSBC. This is a very uh, challenging uh, topic because I'm trying to solicit the support of everybody to make sure that YSBC and AIU ultimately uh, support and follow through our action research in bridging inequality. That's point number one. Point number two, we want to make AIU, YSBC uh, a very different uh, UNO center because uh, we have a very uh, specific and, and, and uh, important uh, role in bridging inequality because I think uh, under the 12 Malaysia plan, the, the focus has been uh, sharing prosperity. The problem in Malaysia is it, they have been sharing prosperity among the top 20 uh, and among the top politicians. So now we want to have a program that uh, allow sharing of, of, of prosperity down to B20, B10. Uh, it, this is, and we have to do action research and we have to try to do it sustainably. Okay, next. Next, Nurul. Okay. Uh, So basically, uh, up on the, <clears throat> the May 15, 2020 initial ideas, ni, how when I took over almost a year ago, or 13 months ago, uh, we've, <clears throat> we won our UNO Center, uh, which, is, which was at that time the seventh in Malaysia and the 76 in in the country, but now I think probably almost 90, 90, you know, center globally. So basically we want to design a microfinance program um, that is free from poverty focused microfinance mission drift. Uh, and the mission drift means it is not uh, reaching the very poor or bypassing the, the poorest household, concentrating on B30s, B40s, and sometimes now they are going to the M40s. Uh, profitability takes over impact on the clients. Um, uh, and because of that, uh, the, the challenge to most microfinance program is now towards benefiting the very poor. So the initial uh, proposal I uh, put initially in Bangkok, June last year, and then uh, defended it again at Berlin punya social business media. The other thing is uh, the there will be another social business uh, media, social business uh, academia uh, uh, conference in Bogota in November. Uh, but I'm suggesting to our uh, team members to bypass that one because we have nothing much to show, uh, you know, by, because they want the papers in by August. So I think we will try it for next year. Uh, then we can show something uh, better. So that's, that's a point of uh, uh, to remember. Okay, the next thing. So when I presented the, the one in Berlin, uh, we are now featuring the main thrust of UNO Social Business Center of AIU is bridging inequality for households at the bottom of our uh, wealth pyramid, basically the B10 and B20s. So I want to solicit this as the first point. Uh, secondly, once we reach this group of uh, households, number two there is to create sustainable livelihood opportunities for all adult household members, because most microfinance program doesn't care about creating sustainable livelihood. They just bothered about giving loans, getting repayment, uh, and the interest charger, the administrative charger used to cover all their luxuries that they want to enjoy, and that's it. So now we want to make sure we have uh, sustainable livelihood opportunities for all adult household members because most MFI they just deal with women and sometimes it create a lot of problem and they bypass the other household members. So our program is, I hope to solicit your support 
is to free the poorest from the fear of indebtedness because you know more microfinance program they are motivating everybody to be indebted to them uh, we want to free them from indebtedness because ada doa yang always kata ya Allah ya Tuhanku jauhkanlah aku daripada bahana uh, hutang uh, so we want to avoid that and the most appropriate islamic microfinance product for that kind of uh, to free indebtedness or keberhutangan is musyarakah so that's why we are trying to promote uh, musyarakah uh, and we hope through SLO Musharaka, the B40 can we can come up with the B40 uh, with tangible and creditable maximization of impact. And we want to introduce, I want also to solicit this support from our colleagues to set to, to transform them with key transformation indicators. Uh, so most MFI only have KPI. They are, they are very proud that oh, it costs us only two cents to disburse a ringgit. Uh, the issue for us now is for every ringgit our borrower takes from us how much return do they make uh, and what kind of impact uh, they, they have from it so that's why next okay <clears throat> uh, i think uh, yang ni nuro you bypass lah next one ah uh, yang ni pun bypass uh, i think this one our ni yang ni pun bypass uh, so, <clears throat> if you look at this slide, uh, we have a five-year plan which which has been derailed since last uh, since 15 May this year because I left uh, AIU. Uh, but but I hope with the action research now and with Prof. Rizal there, you can uh, you can rebuild the track lah to reach. Uh, so that by 20 by 2024 too uh, you have something uh, tangible to show uh, first <clears throat> i like to solicit the the support from aiu punya ni first <clears throat> we want our our action research to continue and <clears throat> we hope more academics from from aiu to to be participant in that I also wish that <clears throat> AIU is different from any other universities uh, and our UNO you know, center is different from other UNO you know, centers by virtue of us being different. Uh, not because we want to be different, uh, you know, but because I think it's time that we are different from other universities in the sense that how to put it in a nice way so the other university doesn't feel insulted. First, all universities, when their students graduate, they give them a sigil, a certificate, a degree, a piece of paper to take home. And you lay along that paper to all the other um, uh, companies or universities to find a livelihood, to get a job. Is that, isn't that what our practice has been? Any, any reply? Any response? Tara. Okay, tak apalah. Secondly, under our uh, program, ni, if you look at the chart, when our student graduate, assuming that we put them through this uh, program of internship, which I have put in a slide for it, that we have to reactivate the internship because in the last meeting too, uh, the advisor told us to, to, to go to vocational school to get intern in the program. But I thought that's not a very viable uh, alternative, uh, you know, uh, because we have hundreds of students in our campus and then we do want to give them internship program and you, we want to go to the vocational school and trying to get the school to, 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 be, uh, <clears throat> to be active in our program. I don't think that the logic is there. Lah. Anyway, uh, we want to activate the internship program to our student and then if you look at our proposal, they, the, the internship program plus our course in social development need will be over three years so that when they graduate, they will be like other universities, we'll give them their CGL, their degree, but we will have them ready with a package of 
uh, or a, a package or a template of bridging inequality program that we hope um, you know center will help find the finance so that they can start their program in uh, Somalia, Ethiopia, Nigeria, Kazakhstan, um, you know, Afghanistan, all where our, our uh, foreign students are. And then they can create a um, program to bridge inequality in their, among their communities in their own respective countries. So that is also another soliciting point that I'm uh, asking from all our academics. Uh, next, Nuru. Nurul, next. Okay, so this is basically uh, the plan. Uh, <clears throat> so that, and to, to support uh, this initiative, we are planning to set up a new trust. We call that Amanah Penitian Kemakmuran, which is similar to Amanah Iktia Malaysia that I established in 1987 together with Professor Muhammad Yunus know, and Professor Gibbon and a few others. So we want to create this Amanah Penitian Kemakmuran bridging inequality and hopefully this Amanah can follow the foreign student so that we can introduce uh, those programs there and all under the auspices of Al-Bukhari Yunus know, Center and AIU. So this is another soliciting point that uh, we need to go through. Next one. Okay, the next one. Okay. So at the Berlin Social Business Academy, I defended uh, the program uh, because they were said they were not familiar with a major trust like bridging inequality. Most of the academia there are doing what most of our academia sini do buat uh, linking with CSR you know small program associated sending student to do industrial training all that so we they don't have a major trust uh, like we have research cluster one two three and four and and uh, research project one and two so this so I have to defend uh, the whole thing and they say all the best to you and uh, you know it's a very uh, tough job I say that's that's what the uh, you know center should be doing because if you understand you know uh, in the early 70s and 80s that's what he did you know very tough assignment open to us okay next <clears throat> okay so here i say we have to defend uh, the strategic trust of inequality focus al bukhari you know center because uh, unless we are strategically focused we might end up doing the same thing. Uh, you know, like uh, more you know center in Malaysia, every one or two years, they will call you know, give a talk on his book and then um, hug him and then wish him the very best and wait for another round of, of him coming. So, and then in the meantime, we have all these small uh, programs that are linking our students with all the industrial CSR activities. We want to stop that. We want to go we have a framework. Uh, we have a framework of six research clusters, Nick. And if we can do that properly uh, and follow through it, that will be the different the UNU Center Al Bukhari can uh, can perform. Next, please. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so we have been allocated uh, 3 million research grant uh, and I understand that the first chunk of of 20 20% uh, 20, 20,000 have also been given to to our research cluster so we can do that uh, next one Nurul uh, this is the summary of the activities that that we have next one please uh, uh, how upon the, uh, you know says development must be measured by the per capita real income or the bottom half of the population not the national per capita uh, real income next please uh, this is the innovation that we want to introduce uh, to our program so that uh, we have this key transformation indicators as test stated earlier most program they only have kpi key performance indicators in fact i also suggested to prof rizal 
he is giving grant to uh, people that go that have their they have publication in all these fancy journals and famous journals and all over i think about what 2500 i like to suggest that uh, we have to offer rewards to those uh, academic and action researchers that benefit community directly uh, you know so we have to design a reward system and once you design this uh, key transformation indicators ni it should be it should be a more balanced approach if you put kpi beside the kti then you have a very balanced program uh, right now it's very unbalanced behind because you only have kpi for example uh, uh, an mfi like ammonite Tem malaysia it cost them only seven cents to disperse a ringgit but they don't know for every ringgit borrowed by their sahabat, their client, how much the borrowers are making out of it. So I said, yeah, we can be very proud with seven cents per ringgit disbursed. How about how we'll be even prouder if we know that for every ringgit they borrowed, they make 20% out of it, gross and minus all the hutang to pay back to him, they still have 10% return to every ringgit uh, that they borrowed. Uh, that is the kind of research uh, that we want to do it, and that's the, the focus that we should be working on. So under these this, uh, seven preliminary indicators, for Muslim, you know, a very poor Muslim, when they die, they carry with them only three out of the five rukun that, that our Prophet have uh, entrusted to us. You know, they can pray, uh, they believe in Allah and Prophet, they can pray five times. Uh, and then when Ramadan came, comes, uh, like we just uh, last month, they, they, to them, Ramadan is all year round, all their life, because they cannot enjoy the kind of luxury you have in Shawal all the time. They cannot fulfill the zakat. And of course, if you cannot fulfill your zakat, the Hajj Rukun is also unachievable. So under this program, <clears throat> we are hoping that a special package of KTI that will allow them to be a more complete Muslim. Uh, and then we have to design program that fits in into that. So uh, we hope this is the innovation that we want uh, our MFI, our UNO Center uh, to help. But our KTI here is only for Muslim. For the other group, the other group have to come up with their own list of what KTI their communities uh, prefer. Next. <clears throat> okay. We are, <clears throat> we are honored that uh, the BOG proclaimed that social business to be our um, AI unit. And we are also honored that uh, the focus is on the rural underprivileged uh, community. We are on the right track. Next. <clears throat> so why this title? Uh, this title say why we need to solicit because <clears throat> AIU even though they have the track uh, uh, for social business and for serving community but the route to that is not clear uh, if you look at if you look at our research cluster one we are supposed to help uh, our country arrive at a more creditable and tangible measure of of household uh, under poverty because UNDP said our 0.4 percent is ridiculously stupid uh, percentage uh, Singapore have 18% uh, uh, poverty and Japan have 50% poverty. How can Malaysia have only 0.4% uh, poverty? So we need to have a credit, creditable threshold. But in the, in the meeting that I attended, which also, uh, which also, upon the, uh, which also, I think our VC and, uh, and Prof Rashid and a few others attended, we are told that that upon the uh, use use the barefoot index 
Uh, so no need to spend a quarter million trying to um, identify household at the bottom of the our way of pyramid. Go around the village and look for people barefooted. Barefooted people are poor. So I went back to Bali and start asking uh, people, are there any barefooted people around? Yes, they said, ada lah, two or three. But these are all crazy people. So can you imagine if you, you go to that tradition, we are all crazy bums. That's one. Secondly, um, <clears throat> uh, also all our, the, the second and third and fourth upon the uh, proposal come under heavy attack uh, i thought we should be proud that we managed to attract uh, students from usim to become our intern but we are told they are not real champion the real champion of vocational school so there goes another of my my um, <clears throat> input uh, so because of that i realized that uh, maybe uh, the track is is not going the way I planned it. So you need to have a new captain to carry it through, whether you want to go back to Bali and redevelop using the, the Berlin model, or you want to, to follow whatever the, the advisor uh, told you. So this is, this is the, the, the point um, that, that, you have, that we have to, to go through. Next, please. <clears throat> okay. So, I'm suggesting uh, that <clears throat> uh, CSR center activity with student internship and with, with companies and corporations that project humanities approach is out of date. So what we are supposed to do now, we need the bridging in quality action research because this one's of its kind with the 12 national plan coming in as young but yet to be pragmatic academic uh, trust, I appeal to you to fulfill a mission of another time. Take active role in action research in bridging inequality. It will guarantee to be self-rewarding and enrichment to the soul as your, ac your action transform the life of the bottom millions with livelihood opportunities. But it's going to be a tough mission. AIU requires more academic in this tradition, not just who has volunteered to date. Next, please. Uh, so these are the research clusters and how uh, they want to go through. Uh, the research cluster number one will be developing an inequality database with poverty at the household, the pyramid. And we hope one of the most important output from this, uh, research, from this research cluster one is coming up with a, a tangible and creditable uh, threshold for B10, B20, B30, and B40. I think if you can produce that, it will be a, a very high scopus value uh, program. So that's one area. Uh, okay, next please. Uh, <clears throat> the second one is we are moving uh, into creating sustainable livelihood opportunities for all adult household members. Uh, using social entrepreneurship and creating sustainable livelihood opportunities. So this is the second one. Um, this is also the critical missing link in most of our development program. And this should be the niche for uh, Yunus Social Business Center in Al-Bukhari. Next, please. Ah, the third one is a lot of very poor people, our research have shown, uh, are afraid of uh, getting murabaha type uh, microfinance because they say if i borrow a thousand ringgit if i have to pay charge pengusan 20 120 ringgit and i have to pay back 1120 ringgit i'm not sure whether that that can fulfill my fear against riba or interest so we found out after years of study and weeks of visiting them that they say no, uh, we don't want uh, charge pengurusan to be part of the package. Can you design something that have no charge pengurusan? Uh, then we are willing to participate. So that kind of program is more related to musyarakah. So we are designing sustainable livelihood opportunities through musyarakah financing, and and because you know. Um, 
attack me for saying uh, join join uh, musharaka is uh, profit sharing is a social business mean no profit so i have to change it to join venture uh, social business uh, instead of profit and loss sharing so this is another uh, imp another input a vital input in our financing system because in 1986 we initiated uh, Murabaha base or, or cah pengurusan base microcredit uh, called Project Ektia that now become Amanah Ektia. So now we hope Al Bukhari you know, Center and AIU initiated with USIM and the UUM and USM to to establish musyarakah base. Uh, you know because in 1986 Bank Pertanian said we cannot bank we cannot provide credit to the poor because they are not bankable. They are not bankable according to Bank Pertanian because we even when we give uh, credit to the rich, they don't pay. So even the rich cannot um, cannot be trusted. How can you trust the poor? So I said, how can you blame the poor when you don't give them the loan? How do you know that they are not bankable? Uh, you know, says only the poor are bankable. So now we want to use that same logic. Uh, most Islamic financial institution refuse to give musyaraka financing to even rich corporation and now they say this crazy professor is uh, promoting musyaraka among b10 and b20 please don't join he's a crazy fellow but what i'm saying to you uh, academic in aiu and everywhere so that don't don't take that kind of view we will prove to the, this Islamic financial institution that we can make Musharaka a viable alternative uh, for dunya and the uh, afterworld or the other world. Next, please. Okay. Household transformation plan is a major input because most programs, they just don't care much about the impact. And sometimes this is the niche that most academic got some research uh, some even uh, government uh, agencies call academic to do research and academic will normally glorify those research programs. So what we are <clears throat> thinking now is how can we institute household transformation program, follow it through uh, and try to assist in them achieving the KTI. So this is what up on the uh, research cluster for with samples is is uh, spearheading so that we can measure all those seven indicators for the muslim men and for the others we have to work out uh, another detail next please okay uh, <clears throat> so this is uh up on the so far we have halawati dengan bb in research cluster one next please uh <clears throat> Uh, upon the research cluster two is is upon the, we have uh, Nurul Aina next please uh, okay <clears throat> so this is what I'm taking the current TNC announcement on monetary reward I like additional reward probably uh, to double that or publication monetary reward for action research they have major impact to the bottom billion next please other supporting uh, this one that we have to activate uh, internship program introduce a three-year course for students to master the action research initiative bridging equality link the program with student creative laboratory in their home nation follow the student with financial package to develop startup bridging in a corporate bridging and innovative program in their respective countries uh, for AIU academic and partner for university promote sabbatical program assign academic to follow respective students back home introduce social essential dimension in the curriculum of AIU courses promote academic and student exchange program in promoting bridging in inequality with partner universities next please ah that's it I'm sorry I have taken almost 45 minutes but uh, let's now hear some question thank you